In case you haven't heard yet, Expo Build is going away this year, 2022. Starting in 2023, you're going to have to switch from Expo Build to something called EAS Build. Now, EAS Build is something called uh, Expo Application Services. So if you've been using React Native Expo, you may not have heard this yet, but starting next year, a lot of features with Expo Build won't be working anymore. Um, uh, one of those features is um, Expo's traditional um, push notification service. Uh, they're gonna make you have to start paying to, to use uh, EAS Build in the future, but you don't have to freak out. Um, so this is native notifies um, channel. So we offer a push notification service for React Native Expo developers. Um, here we've preemptively prepared for this. And so um, starting this week, we just came out with some major updates. The biggest update is on the back end on our side, we're no longer dependent on Expo to send push notifications to uh, Expo managed workflow builds or any sort of Expo build. So you can still use native notify.com to send push notifications uh, to Expo apps. Um, and you will not have to become a paying member of EAS build. EAS build, their cheapest monthly plan is gonna be $99 a month. Um, with React Native Notify, it's a lot cheaper than, than $99 a month. You can check the pricing. Um, but I just wanted to prepare you. We are transitioning away from dependence on EAS build. Um, so uh, in the future, you're going to, all, all this is already live. I'm going to be coming out with more videos this week and maybe into next week uh, explaining everything. Uh, but basically, if you're already using Native Notify, um, you'll want to just check in on this documentation here. You're going to see a new Android setup guide soon. And we're going to also add in something here called iOS setup. So there's going to be an iOS setup guide. Um, and you'll notice down here, there's a settings page. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Um, currently, the way it works, so if you follow this start here guide and you send a push notification, uh, this push notification will work with the Expo Go app. Uh, it still works with the Expo Go app. And then if you come here and you're sending push notifications, it'll still work with your Expo Go app. Um, so it'll work in development mode. But before you start using uh, push notifications in production, like for a real, um, Android app or an iOS app on an actual device on the actual store, there's gonna be some new settings that you'll need to set up. So down here, uh, first there's some warnings that you'll need to make sure to look over. Currently right now, uh, once you update these settings down here, uh, what you're doing is you're switching from development mode to production mode. So your push notifications in Expo Go will stop working once you update the settings. Um, but they will work on a live app. So if you put an APK file on your Android device, it'll work. Uh, if you're using test flight for iOS, it'll work. It'll work live as well. Um, pretty soon, I'm gonna, we're gonna also add in the send page, there's gonna be the ability to only send an Expo Go app uh, push notification. So eventually you'll be able to do both. You'll be able to send both an Expo Go and a production notification. But, but for now, what you'll need to know is once you update settings, currently um, the Expo Go push notifications will stop working, but you don't have to freak out. It'll work in an APK file. It'll work in test flight mode. It'll work in production. Um, and uh, so it's suggested you probably shouldn't update these until you're ready to test out your app on an actual app Android device with like an APK file or in test flight mode on iOS, or you're ready to go live with your app. Um, the main things here are, we'll need an FCM server key for Android. And that's all we need and everything will be working for Android. Um, and you also need all this information for iOS. Again, I'm gonna be coming out with videos soon on 
all of this. So if uh, you don't know how to find these things, just subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'll be coming out with videos very soon. Uh, if you, you're seeing this video um, weeks from now, you'll want to just check the channel. There's probably some videos live already. Um, but yeah, there, that's just the updates of what's going on. Uh, so the new note, native notify package, you'll need to be using uh, version uh, 3.0.1 or higher uh, for all of this to work. One of the cool things uh, about uh, this new system is you'll actually be able to send big pictures with your push notifications. Uh, it currently only works with Android, but uh, the goal is eventually to get it working with iOS too. But if you go to the send page, you'll notice in the advanced settings, there's now an option to send a big picture with your push notification, which is pretty cool. You haven't been able to do that and you still can't currently do that with uh, the, the old Expo build push notification system. Um, it only works here. Um, and so that's one of the new things. But yeah, I, I'm going to be coming out with a lot more videos soon about all that. But really, the point of this video is uh, you should prepare. If you're already using Native Notify, you should prepare to uh, switch to this new method. Really, all you have to do is upgrade to version 3.0.1 or higher. Um, quick way to do that is you can just uninstall Native Notify and then reinstall Native Notify, and you'll have the most up to date version. If you do that, everything will just work. Um, your your Expo Go notifications will still work. And then once you update your settings, um, your notifications will work in production as well. Um, so all you'll have to do is update to the, the native notify package, the most recent one, and everything will just work. That's all you have to do. Um, and again, just be checking this page for a new Android setup guide coming soon and an iOS setup guide coming soon. While that's coming really soon, we'll also, uh, I'll also come out with another video explaining how big pictures work, how you can set up big pictures. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the major updates. Uh, so just wanted to get you guys ready. Um, if you're not sure how to create builds for e EAS yet, uh, I made a video explaining how that works. You can watch it right there. That basically explains uh, how to transition from using Expo build to using EAS build. Um, and it'll show you how to, to create uh, your apps using EAS build instead. Um, so you'll wanna watch that video. And yeah, I just wanted to warn everybody, starting uh, next year, they're gonna, Expo build won't work anymore. And I'll put this link in the description below. It'll explain uh, all the things that will no longer work uh, for Expo build and anything related to that and all the new things you'll have to use. It's really not that complicated of, of a change, but it is a new system. So you'll want to check it out. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure to like, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.